today on CJ at the Movies, private investigator Edward Norton suffers from Tourette's Syndrome in motherless Brooklyn. I'm Chris Wiswag, and today on CJ at the Movies, I'll be dishing on Edward Norton's first directing job since Keeping the Faith, Motherless Brooklyn. Let's take a look. Set in the 1950s, Edward Norton directs himself as a private investigator, trying to unravel the mystery behind the murder of his mentor, played by Bruce Willis. Does anybody know what Frank was into on this? There's something going down, and it's big, and they were not happy about what he found. We find who did this, and we square accounts. If I figure it out, I'm gonna make him regret it. I promise you that. A medical condition the investigator has is Tourette's Syndrome, and the movie does an interesting job at exploring that. I twitch and shout a lot. If. Makes me look like a damn freak show. Can't you ever cut that out? I'm sorry. Touch it, Bailey! I'm sorry. But inside my head's an even bigger mess. I can't stop twisting things around. Words and sounds especially. Have to keep playing with them until they come out right. Sorry. Jeez. Forget I asked. The all-star cast includes Gugu Mbatha-Ra as an activist the main character becomes close with, Alec Baldwin as the sadistic and racist building mogul, and Willem Dafoe as his once successful engineer brother. Motherless Brooklyn works well when Norton's character struggles with his Tourette's syndrome and how he narrates the events in his life, but what really didn't interest me was its big dialogue and routine moments. The words involve crime and politics, and so much of that was going on that it only provided me with cliff notes. It's not as gritty as another recent crime film I saw, The Irishman by Martin Scorsese. Motherless Brooklyn is a committed project by Norton, and some of the actors are fine, but perhaps it's too committed to be a crime caper classic. Well, that's my mixed review of Motherless Brooklyn. If you like this review and other reviews coming up, please subscribe to my channels, and you can also read my reviews at cjatthemovies.com. I'm Chris Zweig, and I'll see you at the movies.